bread and lemon coriander acorn squash. This time of year, acorn squash is plentiful in our CSA shares. And we have Emma here to teach us how to make this Italian inspired dish. I love this recipe because it's so simple and it's unique with a little bit of exotic influence from one of my favorite spices, coriander. This dish also utilizes two kitchen essentials that are easy to make at home, marinara and breadcrumbs. I'm gonna show you a really quick tip for making breadcrumbs at home. When you have aged bread, I don't like to call it stale, when it's nice and hard, you wanna put it in a Ziploc bag, seal it, and then take a rolling pin, or you can use a can of beans and just start bashing it. This is a really good one to have the kids do as well, because it's fun. Can I try? Go for okay. it. <laughs> Harder! Yeah, get it! <laughs> you can finish it off by just rolling it into really fine crumbs. When all the ingredients are ready, you can prep the squash. Start by cutting it in half, scoop out the seeds. To cut the squash into wedges, slice against the grains and then you'll have these really beautiful scalloped edges in the finished dish. Squash is in the oven, and while it's baking, we're gonna make the topping. Coriander seed is always more aromatic and brighter when it's toasted and then ground. The lemon and coriander together, well, it makes it really different even though it's really simple ingredients. Mm -hmm. And another great thing about this is you can make it gluten-free by exchanging the breadcrumbs for almond flour. Mm, that's a great tip. And it seems like you could probably make it without the Parmesan if you were going mm -hmm. for dairy-free. So it has a lot of options. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, if you wanna get more of great recipes, vegetable tips, just click that big green subscribe button.